Okay, so just got back from uh, Argos. So I've got myself the brand new camera. I've got myself. I'll show you guys. Um, I've got the new Sony A, the new Sony Alpha 5000. I'm really excited for this camera. Been watching a lot of reviews online. What camera to get? What sort of compact vlogging, sort of gym editing camera to get? Saw a lot of different ones, but eventually I went for the. Um, Sony Alpha 5000 it fit in my budget and it was a really good camera at the same time so yeah I'm excited to get this open let's see what's inside guys okay guys so I just literally opened up the box um, and literally just took out all the content from the box so when you get it this is what the box looks like it's got the image of the front and then it's got a few more specs on there 20.1 megapixels uh, all that stuff I'll get into a lot of that stuff later on but yeah so open the box you get the camera itself look at this beauty pretty sleek looking camera it's got a little plastic shell with a little metallic on the side as well and it's got a, a mirrorless screen as well get into that later as well and then also you get a sort of charger and then you can you connect that charger to a little thing here i think that's the adapter you connect that in and then you've also got with the adapter a usb sort of a port and then you get another charger for like i presume european countries with the two pin sort of thing and then you can register your uh, product um online i need to do that actually and then you get the standard sony information pack um then you get the wi-fi connection stuff the actual look at this look at this thing it's huge i doubt i'm gonna be reading all of that but yeah you get that so yeah that's what you get in there as well the box is pretty small i guess it's a pretty small camera and yeah uh, to give you a sort of idea of the type of image quality this is just me in my back garden um i'm just speaking through the external mic right now so you can, uh, you can see i'm gonna go outside as well but just to show you guys let's move about a little bit so you can see it's still pretty good those really wide angle lenses actually i'm not even using like a, a joby sort of a gorilla pod just using my hands and you can see how wide the frame is anyway so yeah it's pretty good okay guys so the sony alpha a5000 one of sony's uh entry level sort of cameras you know one of sony's lightest interchangeable lens camera which really appealed to me literally this camera weighs literally nothing you know and it's really good for vlogging it's a compact camera you can put it anywhere it's not like those big dslrs obviously the dslrs will have better quality but this camera is, is pretty it's pretty high it's got almost a quality of a dslr but in more of a compact version and it's really worth the price just a little bit more about the camera you can take off the lens it's got an e-mount there's a little button over here you literally you press that and you rotate and you take the lens off that's very useful if perhaps you want to store it in your pocket so you want to put it somewhere else really useful and you can also change the lens as well this camera also boasts an impressive 20.1 megapixel asp c sensor which is really really impressive the quality quality of pictures and videos i must say is pretty sharp you can uh, shoot your uh, shoot your videos in sort of portrait mode as well which really focuses on your face and sort of blends out everything else in the background but not too much you can still make out what it is but it really brings out the detail on your face which is really good if you're vlogging you want to look good you know what i mean so yeah that's really important it also has a really cool uh, mirrorless screen uh it rotates all the way to the top you know it's pretty clean as well the, the graphics on there are pretty decent for a small screen uh one thing though when you do rotate the camera all the way to the way to the top you want to try and make sure you actually still look at the lens don't look at the actual mirror screen otherwise you know you're not really looking at the viewer so that's really important but it's really useful to like sort of gauge your shots and like you know really connect to your viewers in my opinion so that's really good okay guys so a little features of the camera at the top we've got the standard on and off button over there literally click that on and off and the camera should turn on yeah there you go uh, you can zoom in with this little rotator thing over here. You can also zoom in with this little thing over here near the e-mount uh, sort of writing. You can also fairly zoom in, in, in and out with this as well. That's what I really love about this camera. There's so many ways you can zoom in. It's pretty awesome. And then you got the little movie button over there. You just click that. And then you got that for the flash. It literally, you click that and it literally just pops up like that. Pretty impressive. That's how it looks from the front angle with the flash pretty impressive and then moving on so from this this point we've got the menu button over there and then you also got display 
ISO settings, all of that stuff. I won't go into much detail about that, but literally show you what the menu looks like. That's it, you can go to camera settings, applications, Wi-Fi, all that stuff. You literally just go and you literally scroll through the settings with this little uh, wheel over here. You can scroll from there, there and there, and then literally click the middle part to sort of select something. So I'll show you. Let's go to camera settings. So you got the shoot mode. That's how, like, what you want to shoot in. I won't go into much detail, but I usually keep mine on a uh, sort of a uh, movie mode. You can change that, and then you got different settings under there. Loads of them, ISO, all that stuff. I will show you the settings I use for my vlogging and all that stuff later on. I won't go into much detail about that. Wi-Fi to send videos to your phone or computer and all that stuff. So yeah, guys, it's pretty awesome. Uh, also, one thing I thought is pretty cool if you choose whatever you want say in the settings and you're not sure what that does you see this little button over here the little question mark you click that and watch what happens it tells you what it is how impressive is that you don't need to go online or try and figure out what it is it tells you i think it gives you a very sort of basic explanation you know yeah pretty much self-explanatory so yeah that's pretty good one thing I do like about this camera, you know, currently we're in a time where everyone's sharing pictures and videos online and you know, you want to do it fast. So this camera's got built-in Wi-Fi and NFC. You can literally connect to your phone, you can literally tap it. But obviously for iPhone users, there's an app called Play Memories app. You literally download that, um, you sort of connect your phone to the actual camera's Wi-Fi. You get like a one-time QR code and you scan it and you set it up. And anytime you want to transfer files, you literally go into your camera setting, say, share with my uh, phone. And literally the Wi-Fi comes up, you select it on your phone, you click it, you connect, and literally you transfer files from your camera to your phone or from your phone to your camera. So this is me walking now, going down the street. Let's see. So, so far it's pretty steady as well. Um, so I'm gonna walk, keep walking and <laughs> see how it is. Alright. So yeah, um yeah. As you can see the stabilization is pretty good. My my face is still in the focus pretty well. Um so I've got like a, a mode, I think on here I'll show you in the settings. There's like a portrait, you can sort of set it to portrait so it really brings out the features in the person talking so your face and then sort of blurs everything else in the background out a little bit not too much you can still see it but it's still pretty good and now let's test out the zoom for this camera okay so we zoom we got see that pretty decent i must say it's really crisp on here as well just to start running not too bad so guys that's pretty much it today if you're wondering why i'm sweating it's literally baking over here in the uk it's like 29 degrees you know bringing back those la vibes like I've, i don't think i've been in such hot weather in the uk in a while but it's it's, it's nice there's a much need to change how long this weather is gonna last for we don't know it's the uk it might be raining tomorrow it might be raining tonight but Hopefully it stays this good for a while, but it is freaking hot man. But guys, if you're looking for a budget entry camera, not looking to spend too much money like I was, £329, pretty decent for a good camera, I must say. I feel this camera is underrated quite a lot, a lot of people do say that. Then yeah, definitely looking into getting a Sony out for £5,000. Open excursion. I got a pick of that person. In the truck. That work and you know a gangster, you just an internet version.